guys, welcome to our shop. This is Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I'm so glad to have you back checking out what me and Chris are up to today. But in today's video, I am going to be bringing you a thrift haul. So this is where I go locally. I haven't really gone too much out of town. There might be a few little odds and ends that I picked up when I was out of town. Um, I've been working through my stash, trying to get all my smalls done. So yes, you know, I got distracted and all of a sudden I'm like, hey, I've got items in my thrift hauls that I would like to get priced and get into our booth for our holiday open house the first of November. So I'm not really sure when you're seeing this, but yes, I always love to share with you what I find. I just, I can't, I just, I don't feel like I can clean it up and put it in my booth until I've shared it with you all. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into what I found the last couple weeks. Okay, first of all, we did a little trip to a antique store that was going out of business. They had 50% off everything. So we thought we would go and check it out. But then you get there, you, you get there and you're like, okay, well, Crocs aren't 50% off, cast iron's not 50%. So I had all these not, there was like a list of 11. So that was kind of a bummer. So we did find a couple little odds and ends. And what I found right off the bat is I never get to thrift any of these. So this, um, I actually got two and I thought these are perfect for the holiday season. So they ended up being $9 a piece. And I just thought they would be pretty um, Christmas decorations. So they're in pretty good shape. They're just those old thermoses. So yeah, at half price, that was really the only thing I walked away with. So that was that was kind of sad. But yeah, we went like an hour away to a closing um, antique mall. And yeah, hey, it happened. So we did stop at another little thrift store on the way there and they had some nice odds and ends so right off the bat they had a little rug beater one of those wooden handle ones that y'all had told me to pick up for two dollars it's got a little bit of wear and needs a little bit of straighten straightening out um, but I thought for two dollars sure why not looks good in the booth and then even though I'm not an Apple fan do y'all remember going thrifting with me this is hard to see with all that going on in the back but it's a a rolling pin holder. It's an apple. I really would like to purchase black wire to make some of these. And you know, and you know, in this haul, there's got to be some rolling pins. So yes. So here we go. Look at that. Yes. I would love for us to create some of these. How that one in that antique store when we were in Niles was like $48. So this one was two bucks. So yeah, even though it's an apple, I know the apple's done its time or there might still be people that like the apple. So absolutely love this. And of course, $5 rolling pin, loved it. Probably will paint the handles on this one. Rolling pins still sell really well for us. So no complaints there. And then this one is a $4.99. I think I got this one at the Salvation Army, but look at how big this is. This is, I'm going to be using this, make some pies, make some, um, yeah, cookies for the holiday season. Perfect to have your rolling pins loaded up right now. So we'll get back to the other ones. And then for $2.99, I still pick up these type of graders. These still will sell for me. Um, I like when they're a little bit aged, the flat ones, I, they never sell for me. So, but these ones will sell. I don't do anything. I don't make them into decor. Greenery is kind of iffy um, for me to resell. So I just sell them as is and usually somebody else can make something up with it. And then for 509, look at this rooster. Now he's got a broken beak, but I'm not going to be intimidated by that. I can give him a new beak. We got lots of materials that we can make a new beak for him. He is wood. I don't know what he came from, but can't you just see him painted all up and getting a new beak? I absolutely loved him. Sorry, that's now for 809. Look at this cookie jar. How cool is this? And I'm telling myself, please don't drop this. Absolutely loved this cookie jar. I don't really have to do anything to it. It's got a nice 
seal. It still has cookie crumbs in it, so it's been used. So yes, I'll just sell this as is. It was $8.09 at Goodwill. And then now that I have that cookie jar moved, I can get to this rolling pin. Now I usually steer clear of these rolling pins, but since it had the stand that went with it for $5.09, I thought it was perfect. So yes, I love when they have the stands. The only bad thing about having to spread out in the workshop is it's spread out on the work table. So for $2.99 at the Salvation Army, look at this cute pottery. Can't you see just putting a little um, crockery stamp on this or leaving it alone, one or the other. It's like people like things with words and letters. So yeah, I think I, I probably will. They had three of them and I picked the biggest one so I could stamp it. So because you just never know. And then for 50 cents, I picked up this little, oh, yes, it's cute. There's nothing wrong with it. And for $1.99, we have a bag of, do you all sell cookie cutters? I have a big, I put my jar, my big clear um, container of my cookie jars, or my cookie cutters back in. And I really try to find the vintage ones with those little handles or some like this. People tend to like these a little bit more, more so than the opened ones, but this has that nice patina on it that people like. Um, yes, anything like the little biscuit cutter. But for me, these are the ones that people are coming and looking for. So um, it was $2.99 or $1.99 for the whole bag. I usually sell them for a couple bucks a piece price them individually, let people dig through the glass container. And then for $1.99 at the Salvation Army and $1.99, even though these little cow creamers aren't quite selling as fast, I still, I still, my heart still loves them. So I will pick them if I don't have any in my inventory. I have one in the booth, I think right now. So oh uh, yeah, I'll hoard on them, you know, until that one sells and then put another one in. So yes, look at this little dog creamer. Oh my gosh, $2. Little, it's got toothpicks in it, but I collect these little animal ones myself. And I'm sure Chris was with me when I bought this and he's probably thinking, can you sell some of those? But my tear tray, I don't know how all you all decorate your tear tray. I don't, I don't change it until it comes to Christmas and I'll change it out. But the rest of the year, all my little small collectibles are in my tear tray. And that's my little favorite place, like my favorite little cookie cutters, my favorite little glass bottles. I should show you that if I remember to insert um, a picture of it. Yeah, all my little favorites are in mine. So I definitely enjoy my little, um, I, I enjoy my tear trace. So. Yeah, this is like the type of item that I might put in my tear tray. Just a little oil bottle. It's that patina, but look at it. It's got the writing on there. And I actually have an idea of doing like some fake writing on some tins that I have that I, my heart always takes me to this aged metal. And I took them out of my booth because I decorated it with them and they didn't really sell. So I thought I'd bring them home and I'm going to stamp on them myself and see how they sell. I'm sure I'll show you that in the video. So then for 309, oh actually 209, she gave me this for 209. It's one of the um, photo, but look at it, stars I've never seen. And it's silver plated, it says. So yes, just, I won't even, I'll leave this as is, take the sticker off and the dust. And yes, they sell these for about 10 to $12. And yeah, they usually, have, they've always sold well for me. So for 609, I can't, I, I love crosses and 609 might have been, eh, but it's unique. It's a very unique. I can see having some beads or your rosary or something hanging on this. It is heavy. It is a heavy cross. I love crosses and actually I will not touch this cross at all. I just think it, um, I might, it's got a little bit of damage here that I can touch up with some 
um, paint. But other than that, I love this cross just as it is. It actually could hang also. So yeah, I wondered if somebody had some beads or a rosary that would have hung on that. And then for 409, I couldn't pass up this. I'm sure it's probably a Hobby Lobby piece. Yep, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, this heavy glass owl. Oh, somebody had turned in their whole collection, but this little glass owl, blown glass owl, just had my heart. So for 409, yes, I brought it. Yeah, so isn't he so cute? No chips, no cracks, anything, just super cute. Um Let's see. Okay, so then we found a crockery bowl at another antique store that had 30% off. They were going out of business. Also, that, that location was going out of business, but they also had another location, so just 30%. Um, now, for some reason, they only had this bowl marked for $4. I guess it does have a crack in it, and there's a little bit of where but i've i've sold worse so or i i probably have worse in my home so i yeah for four dollars for 30 percent off not a math major but yeah great price and then at um the community thrift um i can't remember they tag them now with stickers so i think this one was 2.99 um yeah so another brown crockery bowl so yes we're definitely going into that brown fall season. And then for 409, I've never done a wax warmer in an outlet before, but this this just caught my eye. I thought it was super cute. Chris thought it was a cute idea. Um, I'd probably do it like in the kitchen, so a controlled environment that you're always in. So we'll see if it still works. I haven't really tried it out, but yeah. I, you know, this is the time of year that you're closing up your house and you want it to smell all yummy. Now at the Bibles for Mission thrift store um, for $3.50, I, I have a thing with old metal clocks all of a sudden. I just absolutely love it. I love, I'm just picking up my ring light. So for $3.50, it's a wind up. Oh my gosh. Just absolutely. Oh, I'm sorry that it's picking. I can't get it to... Now, there you go, a little bit, you can see it. So, yeah. So I actually, I will keep this one for myself. I have a couple other ones on that hutch that I redid um, that was green that we ended up keeping. I have a whole bunch of crockery in it. And at the top, I have some black items like a black globe and some black lanterns. And I've been doing these clocks that I've been finding, so. And then they're for 50 cents a piece, these sweet little birdies. Now I have that little shelf that we made over that the Kelly the Viewer haul um, that is the accordion clothes rack, the coat rack that Chris put the shelves on. Um, and I don't really have a ton of smalls that I have in my booth right now. So I really was happy to come across these because I haven't put it in my booth only because I didn't, I like to stage things and I didn't have anything to put on, on it that was that tiny. Because the stuff that I staged it in the video at the ending reveal was my own stuff. So then for $2.50, this... Uh, I, I don't know. It was a Rubbermaid, some kind of an anniversary edition. It's heavy iron. I, I don't know. Sometimes it just ca catches your eye and you're like, I don't know why I picked it up. So I don't think it's an ashtray by any means. I just think it was just a paperweight of piece. Maybe you guys can all tell me something different. It's just, yeah, celebrating our 25th anniversary 1934 to 1959 Rubbermaid. So you now you don't see a lot of Rubbermaid. You see a lot of that Sterilite now, but not Rubbermaid anymore. And then I don't know if you all know this, but I collect black Bibles. So I'm always looking, I don't usually show, show them in my hall, but yeah, if you noticed a lot of my staging, I have a lot of the black Bibles. Um, so yes, so yes, I'm always picking them up and um, the stores sell them for a dollar a piece. The Salvation Army gives them away. 
Um, I usually don't try to take those. I don't mind pain at all, but I just like to pick up. So a lot of little errors in our home because I don't resell them have the black leather bound Bibles. And of course, the older the used, the better. I don't know if this one was dated or not. Sometimes they're dated and that's really cool. I think my oldest one says 1918 in it. This one says 1953. So yeah, that I guess that's, we all have our things we like to collect and that's one of the things I like to collect. Along with, as we're talking about collections, even though I don't need any more ironstone, but if it's right there and priced just right. So yep, we have a piece, a little ironstone um, teapot here. It was 809 at Goodwill. So yes, I couldn't, I, yep, I can't pass them up. So I have to decide if I'm going to keep them all or if I'm going to start selling some of them, but as of right now, not yet. And then along with, um, this is, this does not, is not stock stamped ironstone, but these are little pictures that I have in my kitchen on, on a shelf, um, that I collect for, so for 309, this was the right shape for me. So those two pieces right now are just staying in, in my, staying in my hoard. Now I... this the other day look at this isn't this neat now I, I love old globes I don't know about you all I have one the only one I have in my house my daughter has a few but I have a black one that I absolutely love it's been glued together but I love that it's black now this one had um, a world atlas with it so I think it was dated like in the 50s um, when my son looked it up for me but for 609 oops I mean, I ruined the book since I'm the one that... So it does, it has some wear. Um, it doesn't want to stay on its axle here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think somebody would definitely... I'm going to resell it, so I think somebody would definitely be happy um, to have something vintage vintage like this. So I thought it was a great find. I just, I love that patina. Just way... Very cool. And then for 409, I ha yeah, look at it's a beautiful heavy brass mirror. I've sold little mirrors like this. It's got that nice bevel to it. You want to see around? You want to see around my um shop? Um yeah. So yes, I I have sold mirrors when they're vintage like this or they look vintage, but it's got that nice weight to it. I don't know what, just decorative I think, but yeah. So do you all pick up little handheld mirrors, especially being you know, a retired hairdresser? I always liked handheld mirrors. It's always funny to watch somebody try to figure out um, how to look at themselves in a mirror. I can't tell you how many clients I've handed a mirror to, turned around to look at the back of their hair, and they're still trying to find themselves. I guess they never looked at the back of their heads. So that's always funny to me. Sorry, got off track there. Um, and then for 409, this is just a neat little lantern. Um, I love stars, so it caught my heart. Definitely can see putting some decorations in there. I kind of like the color. You know, I, we're getting into that dark now. It's not an old piece by any means. It has a price tag of $9.99 on it. But I definitely, I love, I love metals, so... And definitely since a lot of, you know, primitives, farmhouse, I, yeah, I still love primitives. And then for 509, look at this tray. Now this was a Kohl's tray. So it's got some metal handles. It's got some aged mirror effect in it. So I actually, I'm going to leave this one alone. I'll take the tags off of it and see if somebody likes it as is, because I think that that aged, you know, fakey aged mirror definitely goes with the whole thing. So somebody must've just got tired of it, but I think it's cool just as is. And then every once in a while, I don't pick up a lot of artwork or drawing here and there, but for 309, this one caught my eye. It's that, it's got, 
where they would uh, put it on a knife and painted with it, which I wish I could paint like Bob Ross. But yeah, it's just cool. I um, My son thought he saw a signature here. I don't really see the signature. Um, so yeah, it's it's. I don't think it's a manufactured piece. I don't think. But yes, I absolutely, I love it. It's the black and white. And I do like to sell little pieces of, um, especially, you know, it makes your booth look nice to have artwork like that in there. So yeah, for 309, I definitely grabbed it. So look at this. It's a picnic basket, but it's also a tin. 509, it has a lot of rust on it. So I think I can paint this up and I know I'll probably be like, no, Yvonne, don't paint it up. But I'm not sticking food in something that's all rusted, guys. So um, yeah, and I think it would make, it's got an air vent back there. I think it would make a totally cute bread box. So paint it up with bread, pastry, bakery, what have you on top of it. Oh my gosh, I love that it has these handles. And if I can salvage the handles, by taking them off, that'll that'll be fun. But yeah, I love it, love it, love it, love it. So, oh look at somebody used it for graduation, and they have the words cards on it. So the inside is actually in good shape. Um, I'm thinking that they themselves, I can see some brush marks in it. So I'm pretty sure they had already painted that inside, but I will change it up when I get time. I just keep bringing the items to you all. So for 309, the little flower had my heart. Who doesn't like, I think it, card holder, photo holder, postcards, do people send postcards? Um, yes, yeah, so love this. I don't know there's just something about these things that you can put your little photos on just like just like this i just i think even if you just do buy vintage and they're not even your family it's still it's still cute business cards and then for 409 somebody was getting rid of a cotton look at i love that cotton so just need something to go into it so perfect time of year for cotton right now i love cotton so that's one of the items that i have a lot in my own house is cotton so i was happy to come across that talking about flowers even though beautiful arrangement it's not really me what i liked was this trough look at that galvanized trough it's probably going to be a pain in my hmm my booty to <laughs> get this out because it is it's in there but i really loved this is what i love for 509 it is, is worth my work so i can just see anybody being happy with that um we got some jb welding we're gonna need to do because it's got a little broken leg just one it looks like so yes loved this trough and then for 509, look at this tray. This is a Kirkland's clearance for $19.99, but for 509, it was a Goodwill find. So I don't, so do you see how large that is? I don't think I'll do anything to it. I'll just clean it up, take the tags off it and call it good. <laughs> so yes, it is heavy. So we're definitely coming into the season of people decorating, coming inside now, especially towards Thanksgiving and Christmas gonna bring a few items with me so I ran across another little um crock that I can take the writing off and it even shows a lady whoever made this for a dollar fifty dollar fifty um yes but don't get this wet so then I know I can definitely because the lady when I I think I got this one at the Bible's for mission and she's like is your name Diane and Don and I'm like no I can take that off she's like oh I didn't know that so yeah so Perfect, love these. I, the ones that I did off, I, I've sold about half of them already that I put some crockery stamps on. So in case you were wondering. And then let's see. And then for 250, um, just this is the color. This is the color scheme. I know it's a stand, but this is the color I'm going for of the crockery that I'm putting inside my cabinet i'll try to link a picture so you can see as i'm because the last next couple items are all going in there that i'm trying to build up um a collection of similar crockery and who would have known that i was going to find it but right off the bat it was it's got a little stamp on it oh my gosh love that so 250 even though chris thought it was going in this bar area i'm like no that's going 
Probably not with the handle maybe, but yeah. And then for 509, I picked, I think these are liquor bottles. People told me they're stamped. They're that crockery. I've never ran across a black one. I've been waiting to put this one in my own decor. I have a perfect place for it. Actually next to that crock that I stamped, I think it was an acorn I stamped on it, the bigger one from that video. I'll have to try to link that video for you all, where I just stamped right onto um, cleaned up crocs and took the paint off. So yes, I've been waiting for this one in the hoard to decorate with. So yeah, I'm like, I gotta get that, I gotta get that done because this would be perfect on that shelf. Now for 1009, <laughs> look at, the, okay. So first I never ran across one like this. I was very happy that it had a lid. But this is what surprised me. It's not a real crock, guys. It is made out of clay. Um, definitely you can tell that it's been scraped and killed. And, but I, I thought it was really neat. I love the um, pine fur, 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 whatever, yeah. Cotton Company, I thought it was very cute. So I never, I've never run, a, you guys know anything about ones that are, made from pottery. I thought that was very unique. So for 1009, sure. Especially with a lid because then it's extra storage. And I, told, I just, Crocs, rolling pins, I don't know how I find an iron stone. I don't know how, I, I don't know how I find them. <laughs> Cause I get people like, I've never run across any of that, but I don't know. So for 309, here is another, the same color. It's got some paint, I can get that off. It's got some cracks, but I'm keeping it for myself. It's that color I'm looking for. I'm looking for unique shapes, but for 309, I thought, yeah, I'm not gonna pass this one up because it's the color I was looking for. And if God gives you something, hello, take it. Okay, and then this last crack has a lid, but as you can tell, <laughs> it has been painted now. It was 1509, but since I'm keeping it for myself, and as you see, it has been painted. And wait, it has really been painted. <laughs> it's yeah, but it's been painted. So since these crocs are already, they're already sealed. When you paint on them, soak them in hot water, Dawn dish soap. It scrapes right off. So this is what I'm talking about when I looking for something unique in shape, especially this kind of shape. Um, yeah, I'm not sure because this isn't on the um, sealed area how well this will come off, but we'll see. Long as, I mean, as long as I get the flower off or I turn it the other way, it's all fine, but yeah. So yes, this definitely comes off 1509, especially with a lid. Uh, yeah, I, I will pick it up, especially if it's for myself to resell. No, no. unique I had just ran when I was in Target I was kind of checking out seeing what they had their dollar spots and I went into um, their holiday you know trying to get inspirations of what the trends are and um, I, so I just happened to see some red candlesticks and I sell candlesticks a lot but I never sold any red and I'm like well these are already red but I can even redden them up now this was it's also a vase so it can be a candlestick or a vase. So I think I will paint them up and I think I won't glue them together because I think that's kind of unique. So it was a set, um, where's this? Oh, I think it was 309. They were not in, oh, 609, I was wrong. So 609, so that's $3 a piece. And I sell pairs for $24. So yeah, I mean, I'm not sure I like to spray paint um, red, so I don't know. 
So do people still use these? This caught my eye because it was already the ginger chick color. I'm not going to do anything with it. You can do your bills in it. It does have catchers. Greenery, decorate it. So I, I'm going to leave this as is for 409. I'm going to, yeah, there's nothing. It's the white, it's this distressed and we'll see how it sells. And plus at the holiday, I can stick little decor items in it. Actually, I have some um, little tobacco baskets and some spools and some, um, yeah, even some little cutting boards um, so I can display in it myself or somebody can buy it. So I will definitely have it for sale. And then I, I so I did those bass, like the purses and the little totes where I stenciled on drop cloth linen, put green sack striping on it. I think I've sold one, but I might've been late in the season of people carrying purses around or just not the right per person. But little totes like this um, for $2.99, I don't, it's clean. It doesn't have anything special for $2.99, uh, you know, three times my price. And yeah, I, I do sell the <laughs> these. Even though I think those little bags look totally cute in my booth. So I'm gonna leave them <laughs> there because you never know, somebody might be eyeballing it. But yeah, look at that nice size bag for $3. I had to go grab this one now. For $6.09, they had a cotton wreath. I think the same person that donated the other cotton, um, yes, donated this. I can fluff this, I can fix this and make it look a little bit more new. And actually, God me moment. I have one palette frame that I've been waiting in. Um, I needed a wreath to put in um, to be able to take it into the booth. I put them in plain and they sold and then I put them in plain again without anything on it and then they didn't sell. So then I put them back in when I thrift a wreath or I could make a wreath or what have you and then they sold again. You just, yeah, you don't know. So this is perfect. I needed another wreath. This is the look that I like. So yeah, so it just it just needs a little bit of help, probably just from the way it was stored or it's in pretty good shape, but yes, it's got some it's got some it's got some needs, so So I have, I don't get a lot of viewer mail or viewer gifts, but I try to remember when I'm doing a thrift haul to share with them. So I did just get a box recently, a couple weeks ago. I haven't been able to send out a thank you card yet, um, but I will um, grab it real quick and share a few of the items that she sent me. So this box is from Donna James and she sent me a whole bunch of little goodies. I won't read the note. But she sent me ice, some glass jars. Look at, can't we paint these up and get some uh, molds on these? Oh my gosh, super cute. I love her thought. And then some little wooden balls, you know, little riser feet. And then I got some, and then she sent, thank you so much. She sent some greenery and some floral. Oh my gosh, how pretty is all that? And then we got some knobs. It's just like Christmas when you guys are all so thoughtful like this. And then look at these knobs. Guys, they're chickens. Oh my goodness, little chicken knobs. Too cute. Some are missing their little feet, but we could probably make it work. Yep, so just some hardware pieces. I love to hoard on that. And then some, just some pieces of wood. Got lots of little pieces of wood in here. Like I said, I know this video was running kind of long. Um, got some terracotta pots, some garland. Oh, it just, there's, yeah. Some more hardware. So kind and so thankful. Oh, I'm so thankful. Look at all that wood and items. Oh, love it. Little birdhouses, look at all little birdhouses in here. Oh my gosh. I just, I'm always overwhelmed when somebody even thinks of me like this. Roll a raffia, some more, oh yeah, riser feet. So 
Yeah. So thank you, Donna James, so much. I just, I'm sorry that it's taken me a little bit to get. Uh, I just hadn't done a haul video <laughs> video in a while, so I appreciate that. I appreciate that much. So. Oh, I think that is done with my thrift haul. I can go get a lot of these items cleaned up and priced for our, um, yes, our open houses come in the first of the month. Like I said, you probably see this afterwards anyway, because yeah, it's like, I'm filming this on Wednesday and the sales on Saturday. So you'll definitely see this afterwards. But thanks so much for watching today's thrift haul. And as always, tell me what your favorite item that I found was. Were you surprised at anything? Do you think the value is more than, yeah, I, I'm trying to get better about, I have Google Lens on my phone now so I can shoot um, a picture of it and it'll tell me um, a lot of what it's worth. So I'm learning here, but yeah. So thanks for watching today's Thrift Talk, guys. And as always, if I have inspired you in any way to look at thrift store finds in a new way, please give me a kind comment. I just love reading them all, even though it's been a little bit busy. I try to go through them all. I can't always comment back to them now as much as I used to. Just trying to work through our stash and keep our booth um, stocked. So thanks again for watching today's video. And if you're new and checking out this channel for the first time and you liked what you saw, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell. And we will see you next time, guys. And you can see what we're up to. Bye.